Right here? A lot of people say the symphony was one of the greatest posse cuts ever created. Fuck it, I said it is the best. It's the best one ever. You know, I'm glad to be part of it. I'm glad my crew put it down. And they, and they stepped up to the plate on that. Master Ace wasn't even supposed to be on that joint. And you see where he at right now. That's real talk, y'all. Well, let me just tell y'all, let me tell you why Roxy and Shantae wasn't on the symphony. <laughs> <laughs> so this way nobody has to ask that question. <laughs> let me just explain to you why. When I first heard the symphony, I knew that it was incredible and that it did not need to be altered or touched. And not only that, being Roxy and Shantae, I never wanted to turn into just being the girl from the symphony. And that's what was gonna happen if I would've got on the symphony. I would've became the girl from the symphony. So that's my reason for not being on the symphony because I know how not to fuck with greatness. <laughs> Please believe and, it. And, and, and we the only two on Juice Crew All Stars. Please believe it. Absolutely. Well, let me just ask you, what, what was, the, what was the, uh, the competitive energy like when making the symphony? Like just going into the studio? It wasn't okay. a, um, it wasn't no competitive energy, was it? Either? That would probably be that bastard down at the end. <laughs> 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 he, he purposely rapped until the um, the tape ran off the reel. <laughs> Just so I could have my part. All the way to the end. She <laughs> rapped had like what about 132 bar verse? Give you no space. <laughs> yeah, the race had this shit. Yeah. <laughs> he purposely rapped so I couldn't get my verse on there. You know? <laughs> And then when Marley asked him to shorten it, he just said, fuck it, and I just say a different rhyme. <laughs> yeah. But he bodied it. So I mean, enough said. They were right broad in the symphony and did their thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, I remember um, walking into Marley house. I, I didn't even know what I was going there for, really, at first. You know what I'm saying? I was just told Marley wanted me to come through the crib and all that. And when I came there, Craig G and Master Ace already had laid they shit <clears throat> over this banging ass piano track. And then, um, you know, then the pressure get put on me. You know what I'm saying? The King talk about, I was on, I've been on a co uh, competitive rampage, but I was already put under pressure from um, Craig G and, 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 um, and, and Ace at the time, who was like a, a new member of the Juice Crew. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to deal with that pressure. So I just try to bring it as, as correct as possible. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, the shaft and the sarcasm in his voice. Right? <laughs> 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 way to end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But well, you know, I shorten it out so my man Kane could do what he do. You know what I'm saying? And we all know what he did on that. You know what I'm saying? He got the punchline of the fucking century on that quarter in your ass because you played yourself. I mean, it don't get no crazier than that shit, man. And I don't even think it was another line since to this day that was fucking with that. Real talk. Like the people ask, like, yo, what were you thinking? And I'll be honest with you, the reason everything was so organic back then is we didn't have expectations when we made this music. We didn't know the same. Slow ass song like that was going to be that. We didn't know. We don't know. We just, listen, I'm just happy it happened and I'm just happy to be here, man. That's pretty much it, really. I don't really get all intricate into breaking it down. Like, did you use a soprano tent? Nah, I just went and rapped, yo. That was it. And the result is I'm happy with it. And I'm glad that y'all are and I feel blessed. That's it, pretty much. I mean, everybody, everybody's rocking and right now, like, we're just soaking in the fact that we all here now and everybody's here. It's been a crazy year for people and we still here and I just want to bring it to the people, man. I, I, I don't really talk that much, man. I'm, I'm past the mic off. I'm good. Y'all good? Y'all good? Because I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Do what you have to. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. That way.